Hey everyone and welcome to HD Piano. My name is Joanna and in today's lesson we're going to look at sadness and sorrow. And uh, in this part one video I'm going to show you the introduction which sounds like this. There you have it. That's the introduction. To check out the rest of the piece, head on over to hdpiano.com. All right, so before I dive into this one, I've got a question for you guys, as usual. Um, I didn't realize, but this song, Sadness and Sorry, comes from a manga series called Naruto. And I don't know anything about manga. So um, I would love your guys' suggestions. As a complete beginner, what should I check out? What's the very first thing that I should read? What do I need to know about manga? Can you leave it below in the comments for me? <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's uh, dive into this one. There's a bit of repetition here with the phrases. Um, so we'll begin with the first kind of, we'll do it bar by bar. And I'll do the right hand and the left. And this piece is quite expressive. You can really have fun with it. So the timing isn't exactly strict, but it's quite a slow song as well. We're in G major, so we, that means we need to play F sharps in this piece. Just watch out for that. And yeah, we'll do our right hand first, then I'll do our left, and then we'll combine it all together. So here we go. Let's start with our right hand. Uh, we're really up high at the top of the piano for this one. So here's middle C, the next C up, and then from this C, we're counting up to A, and that's where we're beginning. So we've got A, B, E, G, then F sharp, and then that leads into the next phase, which is an, which is an E, okay? So we're going to start. And why not? We'll go into the next bar and we'll play an E as well. Okay? So actually, you're kind of in this E minor shape here. If you put your fourth finger on the A there. So our counting is like this. Are you ready? One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. And that's the very, the very first kind of bit of our phrase. Now our left hand here is up in the treble clef kind of space. So we're up at the top of our keyboard. We're in the middle actually, sorry, I mean. So we've got middle C here and we're gonna be playing a C chord. Nice and easy, right? And we play that whilst we do the first four notes in our right hand, so like this. All right? And then after that, we're gonna hop up. We're gonna hop up to this like D major chord here, broken out. So actually, when you hit the F sharp here in your left hand, you're gonna play an F sharp in your right hand. D, F sharp, A. Okay. And let's just repeat that, just that little bit. Here we go. And I'm going to use my pedal here. So every time I change that chord, so when I start on the C, I'm going to put my pedal down. And I lift it up and put it down for the next chord. So every time you change places with your left hand, you're going to change the pedal. And the next thing we're going to do is play an E and we're going to play this kind of broken E shape in our left hand. So just watch the left hand pattern here. All right, did you see the left hand note? So we've got E, G, D, B. One and two and three 
方Okay, let's combine those two phrases together. Here we go, nice and slow. And then I'm going to loop it around so we can have a practice. Alright, here's the next phrase. We're going to kind of keep our hand here in this shape. We don't need to move our hand anywhere. And we're going to play G, A, G, F sharp and then a B. And the rhythm is this. One and two and three, four. And in our left hand, we're going to start again with that C chord for the first four notes. So that's C, E, G. Then our left hand is going to hop down to B, D, F sharp, right? And when you hit that F sharp at the top, that's when you play the B in your right hand. And then next, we've got some kind of big chords. We've got D, F sharp and B. And whilst we play that chord, we're going to do this in our left hand. We've got G, like this low G. Here's middle C. We've got the G, D, G, like this octave G shape. One and two. One and two. One and two. And then all we're going to do here is move in our right hand, our little finger down one to A. So now we've got D, F sharp and A. Okay, so we've got this. And when we play this, this is actually a D chord here. We've got D, F sharp, A. We're going to go to the same shape in our right hand. Exactly the same shape. We've got D, F sharp, A. Right? So let's practice that. One and two, three and four. And we're going to repeat. Do you remember that first bit we just did? We're going to repeat that again. Do you remember this bit? That's from the very beginning, right? So we're going to do that again. Exactly the same way. And then the next bit. We remember that bit from the beginning, right? And then we have this bit here. It's very similar. Now we're going to do this. So instead of playing that high B at the end, we're going to go down to the low B. Do you remember that? And then from here, we're going to play this big broken chord of C. So we're going to play an E up the top here. And we're going to play this big broken chord that goes like this. Can you see? So we've got like C, E, G, C, E, G. 
So when we play that, when we start that big broken chord, this is when we start to slow down and you can really um, feel the piece here and you can hold the pedal down so you can hear and all of those lovely sounds of that chord coming out. So we're going to hold the E and do our broken chord. Hey, I'm going to arpeggiate a bit more. I've got C, G, C, E, G. And I'm going to finish with a nice long C. Then my left hand is going to come right down. So here's middle C. I'm going to go to the next C down from that and play this kind of broken E minor chord. So the notes that I have there, we've got E, B, E, F sharp, G. And you can let the sounds linger. And in our right hand, we've got B, D, E. Have a look note here of how I move my hands. So my little finger plays the E, second finger and B, thumb and E. And then I'm going to go over maybe with my second finger and the F sharp, and then thumb can play the G. Okay, so let's, let's try that bit again. And then I'm going to hold that F sharp, keep the pedal down, G, and then here's middle D, D, next D up. And just let the sounds ring out. So I'll do that last bit again. There you go. There you have it. That's the introduction, the first part of Sadness and Sorrow. Don't forget to head on over to hdpiano.com to check out the rest of the videos to this song. And uh, yeah, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new videos every day. And don't forget to leave us a like. You can find us on all social media platforms as well. Well done. I'll see you over at hdpiano.com, the home of hybrid piano lessons.